the bloodlines of the Anunnaki gods have been followed back to the cutting-edge families in Europe. Specialists trust the Anunnaki originated from Nibiru 430,000 years back and colonized our planet. As per an online student of history who mapped out a definite family tree of the bloodline, the sources of the Anunnaki starts with the sky gods coming practical and interbreeding with ladies on Earth. These ladies at that point brought forth the demigods. In various old societies the demi-divine beings were known by various names. In Samaria they were known as the Igigi. In Greece they were known as the Gigants, Mammoths. In Hebrew they were known as the Nephilim. In India they were known as the Azuras. These demi-divine beings would inevitably turn into the antediluvian rulers specified in antiquated myths. The most essential occasion recorded in each antiquated culture was the narrative of Noah. Noah was known by various names in various surge myths all around the globe. In Greece he was called, Deucalion, son of Prometheus. In Samaria he was called, Zyusudra, sons of Enki. In India he was called, Manu, the child of Apim Napat. In the Book of Enoch a 2300 year old Hebrew sacred text we are informed that Noah was conceived from one of the fallen angels, we read. After some days my child, Methuselah, took a spouse for his child Lamech. Also, she ended up plainly pregnant by him and bore him a child, Noah. What's more, his body was white as snow the hair of his head as white as fleece. What's more, his dad, Lamech, feared him and fled and went to Methuselah his dad, and he said to him. I have generated an abnormal child. He isn't carefree, normal, individual however he resembles. The offspring of the holy messengers of paradise to me, his frame is extraordinary, and he isn't care for us. It doesn't appear to me that he is of me, yet of heavenly attendants. The Book of Enoch, 300 BC Noah's dad Lamech feared him since he didn't resemble a customary human yet rather resembled the offspring of the blessed messengers, Noah was along these lines a giant, Nephilim. It was this of data that caused everything to become all right. After the surge Noah had three children, Ham, Shem, Japheth. The book of scriptures gives a more distant family tree of each of Noah's children who got distinctive segments of the world. Also, Japheth separated among his children and the main part approached for Gomer toward the east from the north side to the stream Tina, Phrygia and in the north there approached for Magog all the internal segments of the north until the point when it ranges to the ocean of Met, Anatolia, and for Madai approached as his segment that he should groups from the west of his two siblings to the islands, and to the banks of the islands, Media. Also, for Javan approached the fourth segment each island and the islands which are towards the fringe of Leud, Greece. What's more, for Tyras, four awesome islands amidst the ocean which reached to the bit of Ham, Aegean Islands. What's more, Ham isolated among his children, and the primary segment approached for Cush towards the east, and toward the west of him for Mizraim, and toward the west of him for Put, and toward the west of him and toward the west thereof on the ocean, Levant, for Canaan. What's more, Ham and his children went into the land which he was to possess, which he gained as his part in the place that is known for the south. Also, Canaan, child of Ham, saw the place where there is Lebanon to the waterway of Egypt, that it was great, and he went not into the place that is known for his legacy toward the west, that is to, the ocean, and he stayed in the place that is known for Lebanon, eastbound and westbound from the fringe of Jordan and from the outskirt of the ocean. As said already the Greeks additionally recorded the narrative of Zyusudra, Noah referred to by them as Duclean who had a child named Helen the scriptural Japheth, who might turn into the progenitor of all the old Greeks. The ancient Greek creator Hesiod gives us the entire story on the relatives of Noah's child Japheth. Recorded on an old Greek papyrus called the Index of Ladies around 700 B.C which discusses how the divine beings like Zeus and Poseidon ceaselessly wedded with Deucalion's posterity up until the Trojan War and how their relatives turned into the saints said in Greek legends. After the Trojan War the Greek heroes scattered without anyone else travels some plundering urban communities on the bank of Lydia and the Levant. 
where they ended up noticeably known as the Philistines by local people or ocean people groups by the Egyptians. In Homer Odyssey the Greek hero Odysseus tells how he and his men cruised to Egypt where they got trapped and butchered by the Egyptian Lord Ramesses III in 1180 BCE. I imagined making a plummet on Egypt, so I fitted out a fine armada and kept an eye on it. I had nine boats, and the general population rushed to fill them. For six days I and my men made devour, and I discovered them numerous casualties both for give up to the divine beings and for themselves, yet on the seventh day we got onto and set sail from Crete. On the fifth day we achieved the waterway Aegyptos, there I positioned my boats in the stream, offering my men remain by them and keep protect over them while I conveyed scouts to observe from each purpose of vantage. In any case, the men in their disrespect resisted my requests took to their own particular gadgets, and attacked the place where there is the Egyptians, slaughtering the men, and taking their spouses and kids hostage. The alert was soon conveyed to the city, and when they heard the call to arms, the general population turned out at dawn till the plain was loaded with horsemen and infantrymen and with a sparkle of reinforcement. At that point Zeus spread frenzy among my men, and they would never again confront the adversary, for they got themselves encompassed. The Egyptians slaughtered a large number of us, and took the rest alive to do constrained work for them. Zeus, be that as it may, place it in my brain to do along these lines, and I wish I had kicked the bucket without even a moment's pause in Egypt rather, for there was much distress in store for me. I removed my protective cap and shield and dropped my lance from my hand, at that point I went straight up to the ruler's chariot, caught his knees and kissed them, whereon he saved my life. Homer Odysseus, 850 BC. A letter from Lord Ramses tells his record of a similar occasion. The outside nations contrived in their islands. No land could oppose their arms, from Hadi, Kod, Carchemish, Arzawa, and Alashia on, being cut off at one time a camp was set up in Amaru, Canaan. They destroyed its king and its property resembled what had never existed. They were approaching toward Egypt while the fire was set up for them. They laid their hands upon the ground similar to the circuit of the earth, their hearts were certain and trusting as they said our designs will succeed. Those who achieved my limit, their seed isn't, their complete self are done always. Subsequent to assaulting the center east the Greek heroes cruised westbound to Italy where they turned into the predecessors of the Tirsenoi or Estrukens in Italy. By utilizing the Phoenician exchange courses the Greek legends cruised to Carthage and in the long run halting at the Phoenician port city gates in Spain. Old Greek creators additionally specifies the Fortunate Isles a place where all the Greek legends, divine beings lived, which was found someplace at the Atlantic Ocean. Irish folklore correspondingly discuss a race of demi-divine beings known as the Tuathididin and who settled in Ireland some time before the Milesians, pre-Celts who likewise originated from the Mediterranean, Aegean Ocean hunting down the Isle of Destiny. Hash. The article source is, above topsecret.com.